Hi everyone, this is Sultan with WP Funnels and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a special sales funnel for specific categories in your WooCommerce store. This means that you can create special offers in a specific funnel that is dedicated for a certain category. For example, let's say if someone buys something from the t-shirts category, you want to offer him a special offer at the checkout. However, uh, you don't want the similar offer to go for, uh, let's say, jackets or any other category. Right. In that case, you can create this funnel where the condition will be if someone buys a product from the t-shirt category, he'll enter this funnel and he'll get your offers. Okay. And uh, to create such a funnel, you will need the Global Funnels add-on from WP Funnels, all right, uh, which allows you to create this dynamic uh, sales funnels for different conditions in your WooCommerce store. Okay. So let's begin. As you can see, I have WP Funnels installed and activated and uh, I'm on the overview page. Now let me just create a funnel. Click on add new funnel and this will give you options to choose uh, from different templates or create one from scratch. So let me just choose this template. I'll be creating a funnel for a book. There you go. So you can see that I am in the funnel canvas and here I can move the whole funnel or rearrange the steps however I want. Okay. So this is the funnel mapping canvas. Now to use global funnels or to create dynamic funnels based on conditions, you need to enable this option over here. But remember, uh, you need to have the WP Funnels Pro and the global funnels add-on installed and activated in your site to be able to get this option. Okay. Now once you enable this, you can see that the landing page is disabled. What this means is that this funnel uh, starts from the checkout page. This is because uh, Global Funnels is set up in a way so that a buyer will enter the funnel based on the conditions in his cart. Okay, so uh, according to the funnel I'm going to create today uh, is that he's going to enter this funnel based on the category of his product in the cart. All right. So let me just select that checkout step and let me click on this configure icon and this will open up the settings drawer for the checkout. And here you can see there is this condition that says enter funnel if and if I click on this drop down, it gives me a lot of options uh, which are different conditions based on which people will enter the funnel. So in this video, I'm going to use product category is and let's say I want to create a funnel for the books category. Let me just choose books and there you go. So this means that anyone who's going to purchase a product from the books category, he'll enter this funnel. For all other products, they're going to go to the traditional WooCommerce checkout. So let me just save this. And now let me just preview the checkout page just to show you how the checkout of this funnel looks like. There you go. So this is the checkout page design for this funnel. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this funnel in action. First, I'm going to go ahead and try uh, purchasing a product that's not in the books category. And then I'm going to purchase one that's in the books category. Let me go to the products page from my WooCommerce store. And here, uh, let's say this one is in shoe accessories category. So it's not in the books category. Let me just view this in a new tab. And here, let me just add it to the cart. And let me view the cart. And there you go. So you can see that this one uh, is in the cart. Now, if I click on proceed to checkout, this shouldn't take me to the funnel because this is not in the books category. Let me click on this. And you can see this is my traditional checkout. Okay. Let me just go ahead and remove this from the cart. And uh, let me close this. And now uh, let me just open up uh, a product that's in the book category, which is this one. Okay. So here you can see this is here. Let me just add it to the cart and view the cart. Now I have the book in my cart. Now, if I proceed to checkout, since this is in the books category, this should take me to the funnel checkout. So if I click on proceed to checkout and there you go, it's taking me to the funnel checkout page, which means I've entered the funnel. So this is so easy, right? Now, creating this doesn't only mean replacing your traditional checkout page design and everything. All right. It also means that you can make special offers for this uh, specific categories. So right now for the books, let's say I want to run special offer for the next one week that, hey, uh, anyone who purchases a book, he's going to get a special discount. You can easily do that in the checkout page by clicking on this. And here, even without making any other offer, simply you can make a discount offer right here. So let's say I'm just going to make a 10% discount. So anybody who enters this funnel to buy a book, he's going to get a 10% discount. So uh, let me just save this and let me show this to you. 
when we go back to the checkout page I had open and you can see that here the total is 55.50 let me reload this page and you can see now I have a 10% discount added that's just something I just set up right now all right that's how easy you can use discounts you can even add order bump offers here or you can also you know add your upsell offers to this funnel if you want to okay so yeah that's how easy it is to create a conditional funnel for specific categories and once they enter this funnel make them a discount offer or maybe make them specific order bump offers or some dynamic upsell offers yeah when i say dynamic i mean you can make different offers to different people uh, based on conditions okay i'm going to show all those to you the dynamic offer and everything in other videos and i'm going to link that to this video once they're ready all right so for now uh, this is how you use a conditional sales funnel for uh, different categories in your woocommerce store so yeah thanks for watching this video i'll see you in my next video take care